to be or not to be? That is the question. The reality is, it's like, if you are a real gangster, you know what I mean? You know you're eventually gonna get caught. You know, so real gangsters know reality. Reality is, cops are gonna win. This thing about heroin does for you, man, it just, uh, it just coats your soul with fur, you know? I would have no memory, you know, I'd like black out. Drugs are a falsehood. And uh, I think if the man who turned me on to cocaine when I was 21 years old hadn't done it, I would have a completely different life right now and I would want that life. I can't blame him. I was 21. <laughs> After the whole stint with gang banging and all that, I realized that I wasn't a follower. But then I realized that I was actually a leader. And once I realized I was a leader, then nobody could ever steer me in the wrong direction. Was, I just wasn't, I wasn't having no bullshit at the time. I was like, okay, I got a clear direction. I know what I want to do, and this is what I'm going to do. Well, basically, I don't, I don't have an excuse um, like most bad boys who ended up going to, to jail, you know, I ended up doing federal time for about a year and eight months when I was 19 years old, man time, you know, um, and it's almost like uh, an erased memory, you know, to some degree, because I can't recall day to day how I got through what, the way I got through it being locked up. But I just talked to God. I said, you know what? Even in all my criminality, I still believed in God. Like, you couldn't use the Lord's name in vain, but I robbed the blind, but you couldn't say nothing about God. So, and I wasn't raised in the church or anything like that. You know, it was just like, God protected me so many times out on those streets. I mean, he just did. This was like, there's nothing, I don't care what anybody says. Say what you want to say. I know he's real. And so I, I said, you know what? I'm tired. I really am tired. And I said, if you really are God, if you're really who you say you are, show me who you are. I want to know who you are. And I, that's when I got hit by the car. And, and then I got saved. My heroes at that time, 13, 14 years old, were winos. The guys who hung out in the park and drank Richard's Wild Irish Rose wine and listened to oldies on the radio and uh, talked shit, told stories. And that was it for me. It was like, uh, I just fit right in. That was the, really the, the place where, where I fit in. I come to the next day, I got a pile of coke, and there's empties all through the house. And I know in my heart of hearts that it's a done deal, it's over. I know that it's over. I know that I don't have, I have a mustard seed of hope left to get sober. And if I don't use it, I'm gonna die. could take you out but in between there and now you gotta hustle fucking fight live and laugh and you know what I mean and play the game like everybody says you know my worst day out here on these streets is better than my best day in the joint you constantly say life is trying to teach me something it's trying to teach me still it's still a struggle I told you it was gonna be hard if it was if it was easy anybody could do it Just about the what I said to myself was well I finally made it. And believe me, that's exactly what I said. I said I finally made it. I knew I was going to be here. It was just when. 
So I just did it. I did my time. I uh, did what I had to do. I knew it. I was waiting for it. I guess I was waiting for it ever since I was a kid. I mean, it's got to happen. You can't live a life like this and not get locked up. I mean, unless, unless you're really living under the right star. I don't know. So there I was, and that's it. I said, oh, well, let me make the best of this time. The spirit is so strong, it didn't matter if I was in a federal penitentiary. It didn't matter. I could enjoy myself. I could lift myself up to a person that I could respect, to a person that I could like, and to a person that had some kind of a future. Well, I don't want nobody but my baby. Charlie, my baby's loving somebody else.